In this video segment, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use your typical protoboard. Okay, now here we have our typical protoboard. Um, starting from top to bottom, let's point out some of the very notable uh, components of the protoboard. From the top, we have four banana jack connections. Count them one, two, three, four here. These are used typically to bring in uh, power. Um, ground or some signal from an external source. Okay, just below the four banana jack connections at the top, we have a very thin strip here containing four rows of holes. These, this strip here is pretty much used for distributing the power, ground, or signal across different regions of the board from left to right, right to left, whichever you choose. The different regions of course would be this right side here, these two center pieces, or this side over here on the left. Inside of the strip you'll notice as I mentioned there are four rows. All the holes in the very first row are all connected to each other. All the rows of the second, uh, all the holes of the second row are connected to each other. Third row are connected to each other, and all the holes in the fourth row are connected to each other. Okay, similar to the row of or the thin strip at the top, you'll notice that over on the each side of these different regions, there are also rows here highlighted by the color red and the color blue. Uh, throughout the board. These are used for distributing the power or the signals or the grounds uh, along the board from top to bottom. Once again, just similar to the ones at the top, these holes are all connected together so all the holes in the row or in the column, pardon me, at this point are connected to each other and then all these uh, columns here are connected to each other uh, going from top to bottom uh, in each portion of the board highlighted by red and blue. So all the all the holes next to the red line are connected to each other in that column. All the holes connect are connected to each other that are next to the blue line in that column. The next area of the proto board that I'm going to be indicating is an area that where we're going to be putting most of our components. That would be this area in here this area in here, this area in here, and this area in here. Okay, in the component area, the holes are connected as follows. If you notice at the top of the board, there's letters A, B, C, D, E, and then there's a gap F, G, H, I, J. In the first row, a, B, C, D, and E holes below those letters are actually connected to each other. Then we have the slot and then we have F, G, H, I, J. Holes below F, G, H, I, J in any given row are also connected to each other. And we can follow that pattern going down the entire board. The reason for the slot in the middle is so that we can put in IC chips and not have the legs of the IC chips connected together. 